Man, I'm glad that it is Saturday today. No, it's not. It's fucking Tuesday. Bruh. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, towards the end there, um, there's this, uh, hold up. There's this sensor nudity option. For all y'all young, young kids in here, because imagine there's at least one or two of y'all that's going to show up eventually. I mean, I mean, what 10 year old doesn't love, you know, drama about Dirt Thief? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's why 90% of y'all even came here. But anyways, that, yeah, this is going to get sussy towards the end there. Just give you the heads up, and I ain't censoring anything. We're going to finish Sayuri in Sayuri's route. Bro. Epic. There will be no chance in hell that I'd be able to concentrate if today were a school day. A revelation keeps replaying over and over in my mind. Yeah, now you almost drowned me. Ah, the rain clots, they want to stop pouring. Bro, it's like that one scene in Family Guy, bro. That one episode where they got, got trapped in the, uh, the, what was it? The, like, fallout bunker or whatever. The panic room, that's what it was. They got trapped in the panic room and the, the fire alarm, the sprinkler went off and they all almost drowned. That was a great episode. Depression. <laughs> a nasty sounding word. <laughs> and in some ways, quite foreign. I guess I was kind of sheltered prior to Sayuri. I never knew any people with the condition. So we're going to finish the Sayori route in Sayori. Well, yeah. Don't you know how this goes? Hey, Savage, can you please play Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch? A. That would make boring content. B. I need a Nintendo Switch. You know what? You can mail it to me. Just reach out to me on Twitter. I'll tell you where to mail it. I mean... I knew what it was. Psychology has always been at least vaguely interesting to me, but I never really saw a real person to look into it. Alright, which ending are you aiming for? Oh, hey, Isaac! I'm aiming for the good route, obviously. That's the one where you actually get to finish in Sayuri. And Sayuri said that she's been depressed for most of her life. It's been a while, comrade. It really has. By the way, how is that uh, review coming along? I know it's been like over a month. I mean, at this point, I'm literally just started the scripting for a redux of my own redux review. <laughs> so I can't help but wonder, when did it all develop? What caused it? Was she bullied? Or did a close friend or family member die? Wait, if you don't censor anything, then you're going to stream pure rule 34. If Afro Zero can get away with this, so can I. And besides, I'll unlist it afterwards, so who cares? There are many things I want to ask her right now. But as Mom said, it's best to give Sayuri some... Some to cool off. I give it a couple of days. Besides, they got a lot of homework to be getting on with. Yeah, fuck Sayuri. Homework's more important. It's all about the grind set. Well, that's Sakurai's out of the way first. Man, the end of the war really had a huge effect on the world. Yeah, it really did. It, like, pretty much directly led to World War II. Yeah, kind of crazy. It's time for a break, I reckon. It's time to go play Kirby's Dream Island Adventure for the Nintendo DS. Was that on the DS? I don't know, it's one of those. It really is a first world problem to have so many games available, but still not know what to play. Kirby's Dream Island Adventure, is there really any other option? Hmm... A colorful looking title catches my eye. Ooh? Ooh? Among Us? Is it Among Us? Man, not even the escapism from video games is doing the trick. What? How was that possible? Man, I drowned all my sorrows in gaming. 
Also drowned them in literal drinking, but who cares? Perhaps I should go for a walk instead. Yeah, it's because physical exercise is what really helps me solve all my problems. Being cooped up indoors probably isn't going to do any favors for my health. Bro, fuck your health. You game. Game. We're gamers. Bro, all us gamers rise up. We are the most oppressed class. This guy, this guy right here, not a true gamer. Bro, literally eat, sleep, shit, piss, come gaming. Bro. It's just getting me pissed off, man. This this is this guy's a fraud. And I and I put my name on him. Come on. Mom used to harp on about the importance of fresh air. Fuck fresh air. I want the smell of my own ball sweat to fill up my nostrils while I game daily. All day, every day, 24-7. Like that episode of South Park. Yeah, that one. Way to play World of Warcraft all the time. Yes, that's my vision. That's my vision of the American dream. That's what will happen when us gamers are finally represented in Congress. You see, Batman, we are the most oppressed class. We need representation in Congress, Batman. I really am the next Joker. <laughs> I stand up and stretch, rarely rubbing my neck. Yeah, some fresh air wouldn't go amiss. Fuck you. <laughs> At this point in the day, the park is rather quiet. Not as many people come to this part of the park anyway. Which is a shame because this park is arguably the prettiest thanks to the lake. Being in the middle of November, there was a definite chill in the air. Although I'm wrapped up warm, so I can barely feel it. <laughs> you will lead the gamer revolution. Yes, I will. We had the communist revolution. Now we'll have the gamer resolution. Bro, I'll be at the forefront of two of the greatest revolutions ever. We will make America great again. Wait, am I allowed to say that? Ah, great. There goes my money. Man, I hate YouTube. I always gotta watch what you say, you know? Can't say Nazi. Actually, I did say that in the Her video, but... Yeah, I still got monetized, so... Maybe you can get away with saying some things every now and then. I guess there's no slurs. I'll make sure to keep that in check. There's a comfortable lull in the air. Especially after the overwhelming nature of last night. The silence is a perfect antidote being therapeutic and calm. Sure, I have the house to myself. It's no substitute for fresh, cold air. Oh my gosh, you're making me cringe. You're killing me. <laughs> Maybe my parents were right when they kept up that healthy body, healthy mind mantra. My laptop went to hell and back after I found out that it had a Trojan virus. I came along with trying to crack film more for the video. <laughs> Bruh. To just get DaVinci Resolve. Why are you, tr why are you dabbling with film more? <laughs> Come on, if you get a laptop that can even so much as run, I don't know, Doki Doki, you could probably run DaVinci. <laughs> As calm as the atmosphere is, it's not doing much for the whirlwind that is my mind. Use, um, I forgot the name of my favorite free editor, DaVinci Resolve. That, that's what I use. Completely free. You get like 95% of what, um, uh, fucking, okay, uh, damn, I forgot. What, what is Adobe's, um, it's not After Effects. Why am I thinking that's what it is? Premiere Pro. That's what it is. Adventure Resolve sucks coming from a Premiere Pro user. Hey. As long as I can do shit. A lot of shit. Compared to the other free shit. Then, I, then it's worth it. I mean, come on. 
Looking back, how could I have been so stupid? How did I miss all these shine uh, signs? <laughs> Am I really that dense? Thinking about it, the fairy tale poem makes so much sense now. The selflessness, the devotion to keeping others happy, regardless of our own men mental state. The signs were all there, struggling to wake up on time, which explains why she was always late. Get, get shot cut. It's a good video editor for beginners. Well, I mean, ah, I mean, maybe for Isaac, yeah, but for me, I've, I've used DaVinci for so long. Uh, just, nah, I'm not changing anything. I'm clearly no beginner. I've done this. Yeah, I've been through this rodeo quite a few times. And by in this next one, <laughs> and this next video I'm working on is definitely going to be the biggest one of them all. Signs are all there. Struggling to wake up on time, which explains why she was always late. The nightmare. And when she finally told me her most painful secret, how did I respond? By shouting at her and making her cry. Based. Based, MC. Great friend you are, Stalin. No, oh, that's completely based. What are you talking about? I wonder if she didn't even want to tell me in the first place. I love shouting at women. <laughs> yes, I do. I love just getting up in their face and just yelling as loud as I can. The full masculine rage. Just, just, yeah. I love that feeling. The rush you get from making a woman just break down and cry right in front of you. Yes! Woo! I was so pushy, so demanding, yet... When she told me, instead of being empathetic and understanding, I was based. I did the exact opposite. I became a Sigma male. I learned from the great Andrew Tate. It wouldn't even surprise me if she didn't want to be friends anymore. Would she ever forgive me? Maybe not. But I mean, like, you're just such a, you know, masculine testosterone-filled Sigma male that she would forgive you no matter what you did. That's it is what it is. Although whether she should or not is a whole other question. Even if she did forgive me, what could I even do about her depression? Her self-perception seems so cemented. Would I be making things worse by getting involved? Or would I be able to help her? I don't know. I don't know. Being a normal teenage guy. Nah, nah, stop the cap. Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I'm a Sigma male. I'm no ordinary teenage guy. I'm the great Joseph Stalin. Doesn't really afford me much sensibility. Even though I might sound like I'm, I'm a bit melodramatic, I can't help but feel like I barely even know Sayuri anymore. How much of her happiness is just a mask? That's what the point of the mask is. <laughs> it can't be all of it. Stalin? Who, who is this? Being so lost in my thoughts, I didn't even notice Yuri's present. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stalin, please feed me. I need my rations. I mean, it depends on your ethnicity. Are you Ukrainian? Is Sayuri alright? It's like, nah, she ain't alright. She nearly drowned me in her rain clouds. They filled the entire room with rainwater. I was lucky to get out of there. But anyways, what does number 15 have to say for me? Oh, hey, Yuri. What's up? Didn't see you there. I'm not... Bothering you, am I? Number 15. You look rather deep in thought. Oh, you're fine. Would be nice to have some company, actually. She smiles back. She smiles shyly and takes a seat next to me. The accompanying silence is not, an awk it's not awkward in the slightest, which surprises me. Then again, Yuri is no stranger to deep thoughts herself, and she definitely used to being reflective and quiet. 
I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't expect me... Uh, didn't expect me to come to a quiet park when it's getting dark, especially in the middle of winter, huh? Not really, no. The dark and the cold combined tend to put most people off. Number 14. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you here? Ah, oh, well, there's a lot on my mind. You know, wake up in the morning, I got sayuris on my mind. And I figure some fresh air would do me some good, you know. You know, get those hoes off my mind. Ah, uh, I see. And yet, I come here, and I'm literally staring at one right now. I come here to get rid of the hose, and one follows me. I can't catch a break. Perhaps we're more alike than I first imagined. Whenever I'm troubled by something, I always find quiet, quiet period of reflection in the evening can be quite really helpful. Something about the stillness of the night. Number 13. It's much easier to think when you're in an environment such as this one. Yeah, it is. Especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. It helps just to take a step back and breathe. <gasps> like that. I've actually known this park for as long as I can remember. My parents used to take Sayuri and I here all the- Oh, well, there you go. Ah, uh, time to take a shot. Hope y'all are playing along too, comrades. Remember, if any mention of MCs and Sayuri's childhood brings up, comes up, you gotta take a shot. If we have a flashback, you literally chuck the entirety of whatever you have. Countless memories throughout the years. That sounds wonderful, Stalin. To be able to share such happy times with someone as you both grew up. Although I'm curious, given how much time you two seem to spend with one another, I would have thought Sayuri would be with you now. Well, complicated. Hey, Stalin, I hate to tell you, but you're gonna be wasted within the hour. Because I just remembered where you are. Really? Really? <laughs> Is it gonna be that bad? Huh? Well, alright. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I looked down momentarily, poking at a twig with my shoe. Ah, well... We're gonna have a fight, you know. Oh. Yeah, it was a real bloody fight. I barely made it out of there. That bitch Sayuri, however. I don't know. I don't know if she's still breathing. <laughs> that comes as quite a surprise, given how close you two seem to be. Then again, I suppose it's inevitable that fights occur between people, no matter their dynamics. Yuri starts fiddling with her hair. Not that I mean to pry, but may I ask why you had a fight in the first place? Ah, she was being a real bitch! I grimace as I reply. As much as I enjoy talking to Yuri and appreciate her company here, there's no way I can reveal Sayuri's secret to her. Yeah, you know, it's like she's like a real depressed bitch or something. Like she says she's had like crippling depression. She, was, she just walked up to me one day and was like, I have crippling depression. I was like, bitch, who cares? Who asked? Nobody asked. And then she got mad and, you know, started. Yeah, those rain clouds started forming in the room. You know, they started pouring. Nearly drowned. Somehow I was teleported out of there by God himself. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Crazy day. But anyways, Yuri, you got, a, you got a solution for that. I know you're like an android or whatever. Controlled by Google. Made by Google. Gonna take over the world anyway. You have any solutions on how to deal with that problem? It's not that I don't want to tell you, even though I just told you, and it's nothing personal. I just... I completely understand, Stalin, and also I have no idea how to help you on this one. I suppose it's a rather personal question. 
She just told me something really private, and I, um... That horrible, familiar feeling of shame bubbles up whenever I recount how I reacted during her confession. Ah, yes. I was so base and epic and red-pilled. I didn't take it very well, and I said some really stupid things. Like how she is like a very ugly fucking whore that she doesn't even deserve to lick the bottom of my boots. And, I, you know, I got angry at her, and I shouted at her many profanities. I'm an awful friend. <laughs> I leaned forward, burying my face in my hands. Oh, sorry, am I supposed to cry here? I'm such an awful friend. <laughs> There's an awkward, heavy silence for a few moments. <laughs> Why am I such an awful friend? Am I on script now? Stalin. Also, you skipped like two pages ahead of the script. We're like back here. Oh, sorry, Yuri. Okay, yeah, we're good. I know that I haven't known you for as long as Sayuri has. But please believe me when I say you're not an awful friend. I don't know what was said between you two. But everyone says things they don't mean during arguments, especially when tensions are running high. Nah, they're running pretty low. That's something my parents once told me, and it really is true. What parents? Fucking Bill Gates? Steve Jobs? If you take my argument with Natsuki back in September. In the heat of the moment, I said some rather hurtful things. And then we <laughs> then we kissed and made out and made up. However, I didn't actually mean them. I'm fairly confident that Natsuki feels the same way too. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I can tell that Sayuri means a lot to you, and you're ever so patient and kind with her. Number 13. If I may be so bold to say, perhaps you don't realize it, but you do a lot for her. Little things, such as walking to school with her in the mornings and walking her home in the afternoons. Most importantly, whenever she's feeling sad, you really take it upon yourself to find out what's so wrong so you can comfort her. I played this mod fully and I can say with full certainty that you were indeed close to the end. Hmm. Last time I checked, I was probably about four hours off. So we're at least going to be here a little while. But whatever. <laughs> well, I'm closer to the end. How about that? We can all see that you care, and your caring consideration for her shines like a beacon. Yeah, that's all well and good and all, but I still hurt her really badly. I mean, like, I broke at least a couple bones. Friends always hurt each other, Stalin. It's just an unfortunate reality of being human. From what I can gather, she isn't someone who could hold a grudge. Whatever issue there is between you guys, I'm confident you'll be able to sort it out. Sorry if I did sorry, I didn't mean to sound presumptuous or anything. Uh <laughs> I was next to my mom playing this and what I tell you I slammed the la laptop so fast. <laughs> Why? I mean, literally, there's this! <laughs> you never noticed that before! You've never been presumptuous in the slightest, Yuri. Your insight has been really refreshing. I still feel bad, but you've made me realize that perhaps things aren't as bleak as they seem. <laughs> you didn't know. Hey, at least you weren't playing me and you. That entire mod is basically sussy-wussy fun time with Sayuri. 
For this, you maybe get like five minutes. I still feel bad, but you made me realize that perhaps things aren't as bleak as they seem. So thank you. Seriously. It means a lot. You're a great friend and totally not an android in any way, shape, or form. Uh, well, uh, th th thank you, Stalin. I'm glad I was able to help. Me and you are Natsuki and Chill. Hmm, that's a tough one. I did call me and you, I mean, Natsuki and Chill my wet dream personified. Well, I might have to give the slight edge to me and you just because it was overall a better mod. I can't help but grin. Yuri's shyness has always been endearing, especially as it clashes against her intelligent, mature outlook oh so much. Anyway, I could ask you the same question. What brings you here? Uh, well... It's okay. You don't have to disclose anything. I won't cry. But just know that you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here, and so are the other girls. I remember how horrible those people during the festival recital were to you, and I'd hate to think that you were suffering in silence or anything like that. Oh, Stalin, I still have PTSD of that day. I literally can't sleep at night knowing that I was never able to recite my poem. Oh, it's so bad. Ah, Stalin, you truly are too kind. I very much appreciate your words, and I'm very glad that Sayuri told you about our club. I'm just saying, if there's much more of this, I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> At this point, I want Sayuri's route to be over. I know I said it back in September, but honestly, I'll say it again. I'm just grateful that you guys accepted me with open arms. With your arms wide open, on your the moonlight. You didn't judge me because I wasn't a poet, nor did I ever laugh at how bad my poems were, or you ever laugh at how bad my poems were. I know they weren't particularly to your taste, but you still gave me good advice and feedback. Well, I believe that everyone should be included. No one deserves to be an outcast, irrespective of their hobbies, interests, or their writing ability. Number 12. I just wish others would be as accepting and inclusive of those interests that go against the norm. <laughs> Natsuki is barely in her own route. Oh, trust me. There was a lot of Natsuki. I just didn't enjoy any of it. <laughs> She's nervously picking at her sleeves, almost pulling them over her hands. Can't wait for Yuri's route, the number 15 Saka will hit its peak. Hey, I can't- if you want- nah. It won't hit its peak then. It'll be close, but once we play our castle walls, then, the number 15 saga will truly hit its peak. That's like the magnum opus of Yuri mods. Especially when we get to that scene. Well, for what it's worth, I think your interest in horror and taste in literature and poetry is pretty cool, Yuri. It makes for a nice change of discussion, and gives you interesting stuff to talk about. Like when you discuss Frankenstein's monster with me at lunchtime. I never really gave it much thought, but after you had that talk with me, it helped me realize that we shouldn't just take stuff at face value. Oh, and your poems are awesome. Fallen Angel? Hey, I already told you that the review for that is going to come out April 20th, 2026, so you got four years to wait. That means I have four years to play the damn mod. <laughs> Fallen Angel was just exit music? Yeah, it was just exit music, but with Yuri. Same thing, pretty much. Except exit music did it better because it was with Natsuki. 
That's it. Oh, and your poems are awesome, by the way. Hope that one day I'll be able to write to your level. That really means a lot. I'm glad you have such an open mind, Stalin, in this day and age, to find a mind so free of prejudice and misconception. It's truly a breath of fresh air. Thank you. Anyways, I don't mean to cut short our discussion, but unfortunately, I have a lot of homework to be getting on with. Ah, oh, yeah, me too. Procrastination can only get you so far, eh? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I've been procrastinating on finishing that video for a while. Or at least the script for it. Catch you later, Yuri. Hope everything's getting better. And you, Stalin. With a wave, we both depart. <laughs> Boom. All right, you know what? Can anyone give me an ETA on about how much is left? How many days are we looking at? I enjoy pink eyes for its troll value. <laughs> Uh, I kind of enjoyed it too, but I already knew what was going to happen. So it made, you know, slogging through all the, you know, you know typos and shit and, and all that. But it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Maybe three or four days. Okay. Okay. I'll take your word on it. I know I got a bit left to go, but. No, we're going to power through. Another day at school. At least it's mid-November now, so the Christmas break isn't too far off. Why is it quiet? I'm, expe I'm expecting to hear cheery music, but no. It's kind of sus. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. After finishing my morning routine, I head outside. Tentatively waiting for Sayuri. Yuri's words were helpful, but I was naive to think things would just go back to normal. There's no sign of Sayuri, and I feel like texting her is off the table. With a sigh, I make the journey to school alone. Oh. There we go. Learning about the interwar years should by all means be interesting. Not really, nothing happened besides uh, the rise of the uh, bad guys from World War II. Even with Sakurai's enthusiasm and humor injected into the lessons, I still can't find myself enthusiastic about the topics he's discussing. Despite my best efforts to remain occupied over the weekend, the worry I have for Sayuri was always there, lurking at the back of my mind. I hate this silence. Oh no, 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 please, I know what happens. I know what happens in classrooms. Lucky for me, I still got a little bit left at the bottom of this. Not being able to talk to someone you really want to talk to is crushing. Ah, oh, Stalin. I don't suppose you'll be able to answer that question. Huh? Please don't tell me that I'm such a boring teacher that you can't even pay attention. Word goes that I'm sending my students, uh, sending my students into a stupor. I'd get fired on the spot. Although I'd probably do well in the hypnosis business. It's a light smattering of laughter. He's still looking at me expectantly, so I force a grin on my face. Sorry, sir. I, uh, didn't understand the question. Could you repeat it? He does so, and I answer. He nods approvingly, although there's traces of a concern on his features. The rest of the lesson drags on at what feels like a snail's pace. We're supposed to be taking notes from our textbook and answering the question. 
my mind has been on autopilot ever since I woke up this morning. No, don't start thinking. Don't start thinking. By all accounts, the progress I've made has been pretty... Mediocre. Just like Doki Doki Encore, the epitome of mediocre. Everything okay, Stalin? He keeps his voice low and quiet, crouching next to me. Didn't see, quite seem like yourself today. Pardon me if that's an incorrect assessment. He motions towards my notes. You're normally ahead of the game when it comes to classwork. Not that I mind too much. Everyone's allowed to slack now and again, right? He chuckles, but I barely respond. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Sorry, just had a long weekend at your mom's place. Ha! Got him! Might as well attempt a stab at humor. <laughs> and by long weekend, no, I didn't mean to stay up late playing video games. That's a shame. Those kinds of weekends are the best ones. Yeah, they really are. Especially when you're a pro gamer like myself. Anyways, just do your best for now. You've got a good grasp on topics, so don't worry about it too much for now. Just make sure you know the material for the December exams. Or fuck the December exams. I'll shove them right up your scrawny white ass. How about that? We got it, sir. Thank you. You. I almost said that out loud. <laughs> I was expecting some kind of stern telling off about my lack of progress. I was about to ring, everyone. We'll call it there. Let's go. As I'm making my way outside, I spot a familiar white bow. No. <laughs> hey, Stella. <laughs> You're actually gonna make me cry. What are you doing here? About to head to lunch, huh? <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm saying, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to be coming to the club today. She raises an eyebrow. Bro. Boom! <laughs> Fine boom sound effect place. I really need to invest in a soundboard. I keep telling me... I keep telling myself this every single stream, but yet I never do it. Should really work on that. Oh, why is that? Being totally honest with you, I'm really just not in the mood for it. There's just some... Stuff. I need to short out. And if I came, I don't think I'd be very good company anyway. She nods, but it's hard to read the expression on her face. Okay, that's understandable. By the way, you haven't seen Sari around, have you? She didn't come to school today. Do you know why? Funny she should ask that. <laughs> no clue, sorry. Uh, uh, you know, excuse me, gotta go. Hmm, strange. Well, I hope you sort out whatever it is that's bu bugging you soon. Thanks, and, uh, you know, sorry once again for... Failing and everything, but um, I gotta go see you. It's okay. It'll be a, a quiet session today, I guess. With what? What with the three of us? It'll be interesting to see what it's like. Anyway, I've gotta go. See you around, Stalin. See ya. Later, bitch. Why don't I get the nagging feeling that she's judging me for something? <sighs> Damn, Monica. Always up to no good. You know, it'd be a shame if she, uh, went to church, you know, and I just happened to see her there, you know, after doing some sussy things to Sayuri, and then we got into a fight or something. You know, that'd be a real shame. Oh, well. Wow, I made it a Marfati joke, and it really did turn into a Marfati. Bro. <laughs> By the way, how are y'all enjoying the Amara Fadi videos so far? Pretty good? Yeah. Ah. 
What's it like to walk to school? The return journey feels equally as empty. With another pang of guilt, I remember all of the little jibes I used to fire her away about being lazy and unable to get out of bed. Kinda sus now that I think about it. Why is it that our brains are so good at reminding us of times we said or did things we really regret? Kinda sus, not gonna lie. A tiny voice of reason within me tells that I had no way of knowing why she struggled to get up on time. I mean, she could've just been dumb. I mean, it's not like I set out to hurt her with my jokes. Bruh. That kind of playful banner just characterizes our friendship. I just wish I could believe that tiny voice of reason a little more. As I make my way to my house, I notice a figure sitting by my door. No. I roll my eyes and suppress the urge to groan. Uh, I'm really not in any mood to deal with some religious nutter trying to get me to believe in God. Wait, hang on. That's Sayuri Omuga? Sayuri? What are you doing here, even though you're not on screen? Her head shoots up at the sound of my voice. What are you doing here? Um... <laughs> The sight in front of me is utterly unexpected. Neither of us know what to say. The aftermath of our previous encounter still lingers in the air. I'm like, I got a ball right here, bitch. I'm not afraid to smack it over the top of your head. You don't get off my profit, hey? Can I come in? Well, certainly. Come on in. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, only if I let you in under the assumption that we're going to have sussy-wussy fun time, right? And then be at the end of the mod. That's what's going to happen, right? Please tell me that's what's going to happen. After dumping my school stuff down, I turn to face her. The awkwardness doesn't dissipate, as it never does. There's so much I want to say, but I don't even know where to start. I'm really... I'm really sorry, Stalin. Tears immediately fill Sayuri's eyes, and the powerful desire to embrace her hits me once more. I really shouldn't have kicked you out like that. I, I've been so horrible to you, keeping you in the dark. I was just so scared, and the whole thing is just so confusing. No, sire. It should be me who's apologizing. It's like, hey, come here. I know what will fix all of our problems. Have you seen the deep? I got two tickets to see the deep at Ocean Land. You should come on. But oh yeah, I am also sorry for like being so pushy for shouting at you and for being such a lousy friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Adi, adi, ad the deep. I've been regretting how I acted on Friday ever since. Also, please don't hate me. Also, the deep. Sari tumbles into my arms, sobbing without restraint. I could never hate you, silly. You're my best friend. I love you. I love the deep. I was so scared that after our fight that I pushed you away. I can feel my heart break as she sobs and clings to me. Instinctively, I wrap my arms around her and hold her close. Sayuri, you're so silly sometimes, you know that? Now come on, let's go see the deep. <laughs> you can never push me away, I'm your best friend. Oh, uh, recently I've been wondering if I deserve to be. Huh? Why? I shouted at you. I made you cry. A few of my own tears have started to leak. With concern etched all over her face, she leans forward and carefully brushes a tear away. The last thing I wanted that's the last thing I wanted to do, and I hate myself for it. Stalin, it's okay. Looking back, 
I really can't blame you. It must have been so frustrating from your perspective. I just want things to go back to normal. Please, can we just put this all behind us? It's like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders just by hearing those words. Of course we can. Now let's go see the deep. <laughs> Come on! Stop talking. I want to see the deep already. Ah, uh, and here was me thinking that you didn't want to be friends with me anymore. I can never stay mad at you, Stalin. You mean too much to me. <laughs> can we agree that we're a, both a bunch of clowns living in clown world and we're as bad as each other? Sari gives a watery smile. She clings to me a little harder. He. <laughs> That sounds fair. Oh, to hear that laugh again. I'll always be here for you, okay? Even though I could be a dense idiot at the best of times. That'll never change. She looks up, her eyes swimming with tears. Even with tear marks all down her face and tousled hair. I, I think that's how you said that. She still looks absolutely beautiful, stunning. Brave, strong, independent Sayuri. You really mean that? Yes, I meant every word of that. I gently thumb away one of her tears. Of course I do. She buries once more into my chest. I feel it feels incredibly intimate to be able to hold her in this state of vulnerability. So that's why you waited outside of my house. Yeah, I really wanted to see you, but I couldn't face school today, and I wasn't sure if you even wanted to see me. Her voice is slightly muffled as as talks as talks into my shirt. Epic. Was that the second one today? It's kind of funny when you think about it. We both thought the other person didn't want to see us when we both really wanted to see each other. <laughs> ah, Sayori. What are we like? She giggles into my chest. At such a close distance, I can actually feel the vibration from her laughter. You ever told me that she didn't think you were the kind of person to stay angry for long. She looks up. Yuri? Yeah, I bumped into her over the weekend while I was at the park. Need some fresh air at night. You know, uh, nothing saucy wussy happening or anything. Don't worry, I didn't reveal much. Just told her that we had a fight. She was really empathetic and understanding. You know, I didn't think robots had those feelings, but... I don't know, I guess they're really getting real advanced now. Ah, that sounds like her. She's such a dependable friend. Anyway, I guess she's right. I hate conflict. I don't like staying angry at people. Well, that's super convenient for an idiot like me, isn't it? I was going to try and find you earlier, but I thought I should give it a bit more time first. Oh well. At least we're here now. I'm so glad you came to find me. Even though you all you had to do was literally walk across the street. And I'm super glad we made up. Now let's made out. Oops, I got your shirt super wet. <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, good. Not the first time you spilled something on me now is. <laughs> hey, yo, boss. Sagari and got you bricked up. Hey, I hope. I hope it gets me bricked up too. That's all I'm saying. I hope it lives up to expectations. Oh, you mean that one time with. 
Hold up, Sayuri. One time. Hey, yo, pause. <laughs> One time. It's like, babe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe my man's MC actually secretly is an Alpha Gig Omega Omega Chad or something. Delta Gamma Radioactive Chad. Okay, okay, you made your point, Meanie. We both share a laugh, and my god does that laugh feel so good to hear. Just like that, all of the tension and stress I've been carrying over the past few days has lessened. It's like I can finally breathe again. <gasps> Literally, I've been holding my breath for like the last three days, Sayori. I don't know how that was even possible. Anyways, look, Sayori, you know, besides the fact that I should be dead right now, I had some time to think about what you told me on Friday. I'll be honest with you. I don't understand depression at all, as, like, it's not even, like, a real disease or something, bro. I mean, I... Just, like, get happy. Like, why are you sad? Just get happy. But, I mean, like, you do you. Or whatever. And I can't imagine what you're going through or anything like bro <laughs> but i know that you know is that i'll do my best to be there for you or something i don't know even if it's just as a friend <laughs> wink wink nudge nudge i know you said you like me too but you weren't sure about your feelings so how about we change that right now So we can go at whatever pace you want to go at, even if you want to go at all. It's really, it's really frustrating because I do like you, Stalin. I really do. <laughs> it's just be fucking alright, Sayori. No, I'm not fucking alright. Oh wait, that actually reminds me, hold up. I know not all y'all were here for like the exit music streams and all that. I should, did I put, yeah, I probably did put that section in the, uh, exit music part, but like, hold up a second. There you go. Yep. That is a real account right there. <laughs> Daily, no, I'm not fucking all right. Is like, and by the way, no, I'm not fucking all right. Praise be to exit music. And by the way, not kidding. That shit's daily. There's the 14th, the 13th, the 12th, the 11th, the 10th. Bruh. So unlike that bitch ass daily Natsuki dice account, this account actually does post daily. I can respect it. But anyways, back to the memes. I just... She bites her lip anxiously. Oh, I want you to do it seductively. I'd hate to drag you down. Well, you ain't dragging me down. I'm already like at like the pits of hell or something, bro. It's kind of hard to drag me even further down. We're like, come on. Did you see what I did to Monica? Kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Did you see what I did to you in a more foddy? Come on! To get you involved with my mess. Hey, I've gone through this story plenty of times. I know you hate to see... Yeah, I hate to see it like that, Sairi. But I see it completely differently. No one is forcing me to make my decision. I'm choosing to get involved because I want to. Because I like you, and I don't see you as a burden at all. You gotta understand that, bitch. Think of all the times where you've helped me feel better, or the other girls at the club. You're such a- you're so good at keeping everyone's spirits high, breaking up fights, restoring the peace. It would really be so wrong for me to give something back to you. I know you don't see it, but to me, 
You're worth an awful lot. And I care about you so much. I bet Sayuri said ooh, ooh in middle school. Nah, that was Natsuki. Yeah. Sayuri is that dumb, bumbling idiot that would just trip over her own shoelaces. And be like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. <laughs> but Stalin, there are so many other things. Other people out there who are more worthy of your time. Or shut the fuck up. She said uwu in fourth grade? Yeah, exactly. None of those other people are you, though, Sayuri. You're special because it's your route I'm down. No one else on this planet could ever replace you. And that's a fact. Except for the m magnitude of other Sayuris that I have ready to replace you. I grew up with you, Sayuri. And you're my best friend for a reason. <laughs> Bitch, I love you and I will be there for you. Now, I'm just imagining him. She just shake. It's like, love me, bitch. I'll always be there for you. Ah! All the happy memories are up. Yep, there it is. There it is. All right. Ah, come on. Hold up. Let me open this one up. It's time to begin anew. There we go. Ah, hold up. You play this route and saved a total of 42 times? Ow! Bro, how many times have I saved in across both routes? Uh, there's six. So I say I've saved 18 times in total. How is that even possible to say 42 times? But anyways, it, MC brought up a happy memories we shared. Yep, that's a call for a drink, bro. All right. Cheers, comrades. That's a shot. Ah! Woo! Alright. The jokes, the stories, the adventures. I shared them with you and only you. Because you're special. There's such a big reason as to why my childhood was so happy. Oh! Mention the word childhood. That's another shot. Ah! Really? Of course. We used to see each other, like, every day. Our parents used to say we were inseparable. Ah, come on. Another shot. Anytime MC or Sayuri refer to themselves in the past tense together, you gotta take a shot. Here we are now, even after years apart, we get along like nothing ever happened. So believe me when I say that you're very special to me, and you've got a heart of gold whether you can see it or not. That's actually kind of heartwarming, bruh. It's kind of epic. Oh, Stalin. She starts to sniffle again. <laughs> no one has ever said something like that to me before. You're just too based. Well, I'm glad to be the first. I'm still unsure, and it's really confusing, but... Your hugs are really comforting. They make me feel like everything might be okay, just for a few moments. I know you won't- I know what you want me to say, but... Is this route the prequel to me and you? Nah, me and you is way more base than this. I don't know. I still feel like I'm being selfish. And I thought 
you liking me back would make the rain clouds in my head go away. And but instead, they nearly flooded us, bruh. The entire room was filled with water. I don't know how I got out. It's like there's a little ray of sunshine now. But it's still raining. Even though mom told me that depression has no quick fix, Sayuri's words still disappoint me like, Bitch, just be happy! Just be fucking alright! <laughs> mom did say it wouldn't be easy. Should I knew I should have bought that easy button. Because I'm really starting to figure out just how difficult this can be. Mom, she is based? Yes. Mommy Milkies. I wanted the Mommy Milkies route! There's way more base than this, bro. Come on. I just want to sucky sucky on those big, big Mommy Milkies. Big, big, huge Milkies and huge, big Milkies. That's okay, Sayuri, because your Milkies are also decent. Not quite Natsuki's, bro. I mean, better than Natsuki's. Not quite Monaco's or Yuri's. Better than Natsuki's. I can still respect it. I guess it was naive of me to think I could just come in and fix everything. <laughs> it was naive of me to think I could just come in and fix everything. That would be nice, though. Pause? Pause! Hey, yo! I guess we could just start by taking everything really slow. <laughs> Natsuki has skin breast milk. <laughs> bro, she ain't got none, bro. It's like, bro, I bet Yuri's got that whole milk, bro. <laughs> bro, and Mom C, Mom C's got that like unpasteurized shit. That that shit that'll give you like salmonella. Yes! I mean I wanna die of every bacteria under the sun. Like, can we not jump into this into going on official dates or telling everyone we're together just yet? Of course, whatever pace you want to go with, like I said. I'm not making the wrong choice, though, am I? Just please tell me if I'm being a burden, and I won't hold it against you if you don't want to be with me anymore. You don't have to worry about that at all, Sayuri. You still got that 2%. 1% for each, <laughs> 1% for each titty equals 2%. <laughs> hey, do the math. It adds up. You got 2%. Although, as much as I like you, I don't want to go through with this just because it's what I want. No, I kind of want it too. Kind of? I do want it. I just, I just can't shake out the feeling that I'm not worth your time. Oh, Sayori, as long as you got two percent in you, you'll always be worth my time. And even though what you said just now really helped, feeling worthless, worthless is something I've felt for a long time. <laughs> it totally screams in math major. Bruh, who majors in math? Bruh, I majored in gaming. I majored in YouTube. <laughs> what would you even call it? Like, YouTube content creation, bruh. <laughs> I don't know. I dropped out of college. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, you're majoring in computer science? Hey, based. <laughs> Hey, I dropped out of college to do this shit. Because simply, it wasn't worth my time. Or money. I would have gone broke. But hey. 
Uh, I feel like it slowly paying off. But anyways, enough of me uh, projecting onto you for a second. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to uh, Sayuri's 2%. You know what? You know, while we're at it, just everyone, you know, put in the chat what you're majoring in or what you have majored in or what you want to major in. It's hard to shake off the feeling. But by being with you, rain clouds don't feel as bad. It'll be okay, Sayuri. It really will. I just know it will. Mm -hmm. I see you through this storm, and I'll be your umbrella. And also, don't look at where I'm staring, Sayori. I, I can explain. I wasn't staring at your 2%, alright? I was staring at those big blue eyes of yours, alright? Hey, that's actually one of the sweetest things you've ever said to me. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm not staring at your 2% milkies. I'm staring at your big blue eyes. That's one of the nicest things you've ever said to me. <laughs> Collins is expensive? Yeah, of course it's expensive. That's why I dropped out. <laughs> Stall and her eyes were close. Hey, they were open for a second. They were open when I said it. All right. Chill. They were open. She closed them to say this. Poetic, too. <laughs> yes, I'm a modern day Shakespeare. Looks like the literature club is really rubbing off on you. <laughs> But maybe, yeah, hey, maybe something else from the literature club can be rubbing on me. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? I'll be definitely, I'll be definitely be the next Shakespeare. Great grammar. You just wait. Anyways, I guess it's for the best that we're taking things slow. Because December exams are coming up. As much as I don't really want to, we should probably both be focusing on those. Yeah, you're right. Once they're over. I take her hand, locking her fingers with mine. <laughs> it just places a fucking padlock on her hands. <laughs> I'm locking each of your fingers up, bitch. <laughs> we'll just have to wait, won't we? Anyways, speaking of work, I should probably get started with revision. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll see you. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Hold my arms out and we embrace. What's more? Oh, yes. My Discord kin. You know, it's almost time for me to taste those mommy milkies of yours. Oh, and to, to be able to hold her close to me and heal her scent playing with her strand of hair. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. It's heaven. Before I can stop myself... I plant a soft kiss on her forehead and break free, closing the door before my mind catches up to my lips. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I can hear a soft giggle as she closes the door behind her. <laughs> my little Discord kitten. <laughs> The best part about your content is how you ruin emotional moments. <laughs> hey, I can't take this seriously when I've already gone through it like 500 times. 
You got me being serious in rain clouds, all right? For the, like, the five of y'all that were actually there during that. You got me- you got serious me during that. That's the only time I'll ever be serious. <laughs> if you go for a realistic mod place, go to Aphrosir. We come here for the memes, exactly! Fuck all y'all! Bro, we have the most based content around here. We are the most based people on the planet, bro. This is the most based corner of the internet. Exactly. The memes are absolute fire. And by the way, Monica, fuck you. Exactly. Yeah. You can look at me like that, you know. You know, you know fucking slightly tilted like that. With your hand pointed up in the air. What you, who do you think you are, huh? Bro. Uh, what is serious you like? Could you give an example? I don't think I can right now. I feel like it's one of those things where I'd have to be so enthralled into the mod that I basically start method acting at that point. Like, bro. Like, when I, mean, when I was playing Rain Clouds, that was, the mo that was the only time I was ever serious. I pretty much almost never cracked a joke during it. The entire time, I was literally acting like I was on the verge of killing myself. And like, yeah. Ah, that might be one of my best playthroughs ever. At least from an acting standpoint. But also, it got kind of depressing real fast, especially towards the end. I mean, if you know, you know. I mean, Rain Clouds is literally just Sayuri's point of view of Act 1. But still... I made a review on that one, too. Sadly, that one's gone. I'll have to rework that entire thing. I hope Summer Hope gets finished soon. Because I know for a fact Stalin would love it. You don't know about my history with Summer Hope. I don't like it at all. And it's for one reason. And one reason only. Literally one reason. Hold up, I'll pull it up. I mean, for everything in that mod... You got for all the things in it, yeah, all the good shit, it all gets thrown to the wayside when you see this. Hold up. Let me pull up. That right there. You see that? I fucking hate this image. As a matter of fact, I, I hate pretty much all of them. <laughs> yeah, every pretty much every single CG in the freaking mod that involves Natsuki is like this. This is like the this is like right before they fucked, by the way. <laughs> this, yeah, this is Natsuki about to like literally you know get sussy wussy with me. That is the context. She's about to literally fuck MC. And oh yeah, uh, she like came out of the hospital or something right shortly after that. Um, I kind of forgot most of the plot, but still. Anyways, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of sus, and I hate this image with a burning passion. I'm gonna just get it off my screen real quick. Oh, whoops. My bad. Swap to the wrong one. There we go. I swear, like, the 9 and the 0 are right next to one another. Okay, everyone. What was that? Oh, that was just, um, my, um, my thing that I play for whenever I have to go do something. Yeah. I will play that for the lore. I mean, yeah, you can do that. I'm just saying, you'll probably leave disappointed. I remember that, like, never truly got finished. It just left on a cliffhanger. But yeah, there are a couple sussy-wussy moments in it. But that that image right there, there's a couple more just like it. Not that sus, but, you know, in that same art style, I just fucking hated it. I hated the mod because of that. I just like the story concept. I didn't care for the sus. I liked the concept. I loved it, in fact. But I can never, ever get over that. 
I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, Ew, what the fuck is that? Like, oh my gosh! And this is who I was supposed to be attracted to? What the fuck? Yeah, the CGs are almost as bad as the CGs in Exit Music. Specifically Exit Music Redux. And specifically the one that everyone knows about, yeah. I didn't know Summer Hope had a sus scene. How did you not know? It was like the highlight of the entire mod. But anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. We're never going to finish this if I just keep rambling on about Summer Hope. But anyways, now you know why I hate Summer Hope. We finished sharing poems a little earlier than usual today, so I guess we got a bit more free time before we have to pack up, pack away. Don't know about you guys, but I'm super relieved that all of these exams are over. The past two weeks have been a blur of notes, frantic last minute cramming, and a bucket load of stress. Student life in a nutshell, except I did literally none of that. I pretty much never studied a day in my life and I still passed with ease. I was just built different. Thankfully, today marks the end of assessments. <laughs> I was going to sleep, but this seemed boring for me. Thank you, game, for stopping by, man! And yes, this is more important. Who needs sleep when you can watch Blue Skies for like the umpteenth time? It also didn't help I was dying to spend more time with my kitten. Me too. How did everyone's exams go? Mixed bag, to be honest. Was never a huge fan of math, so that one definitely could have gone better. Tell me about it. <laughs> you have college classes in the morning, but this is more important. Yeah, exactly. Who needs college? As I said, I dropped out. And I do this. And now I actually have some modicum of success. See, that's what happens when you stick to the grind set. Turn that mindset into a grind set. Everything is possible. Everything and anything is possible. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Exactly. Like that, um, like that guy said. I don't know. The guy who was like, he will not divide us. Tell me about it. Yeah, exactly. See, Sayuri gets it. Physics wasn't much better. Physics? Coulomb's Law, Ohm's Law, Lentz's Law. Man, so many laws. <laughs> and I still don't get any of them. Bruh, who needs laws? I break the laws. I broke the laws of gravity, bruh. I'm literally, I'm floating in the air right now, bruh. You can't see it, but I am. I am definitely am. I broke the laws of gravity. I'm literally dabbing midair. Biology went super well, though. <laughs> you were learning about the brain for this semester. Ooh. Like the one you don't have? Oh! Got him! Got him! In sociology, I could care less. Who even takes sociology? What is sociology? Like, who cares? Literally just go into that classroom and be like, Hey, yo, uh, like, this class is cool and all, but teach, who asked? Who asked, who cares? Exactly. Then just walk out, you know, middle fingers in the air, and then just blast off. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Yeah, that. Exactly. That is the most based way of, you know, exiting a classroom ever. The study of behavioral patterns. It's required. <laughs> I like Twitter. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, that sounds more like psychology than sociology. Are they, like, related? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna dive into all of that. I'd probably... My brain would probably melt. 
Just like it melts every time I go on Twitter. So many different parts, and they all got funny names, like the Hippocampus. Labeling it was tricky, though. Exactly. It's fascinating to think that while we're learning about how brains work, our own brains are actively processing it all. Whoa. Deep. The deep. What you know about rolling down in the deep? <laughs> Don't you think? Oh yeah, I love the deep. Yeah, if you're a zombie, see Natsuki, you don't get it. You don't know about rolling down in the deep. If your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. I do, in fact, feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Natsuki, you gotta understand this. <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure I understand. Zombies aren't capable of higher cognition, Ed. Yuri, you don't get it! I'm an astronaut in the ocean! I don't need a brain! <laughs> Jeez, Yuri. It's because they like to eat brains. It was a joke. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, Yuri, uh, going brain dead, I see. Uh, looks like we have to reboot your software. Did you do well? Uh, hold up. Uh, let me uh, just... Uh, updating to Windows 12. Uh... All right, we're on Windows 12. Welcome to Windows. Uh, I suppose my performance wasn't that too bad. <sighs> Come on, Yuri. We all know you're real smarty pants and all that. But you ace like all the subjects. Cause you're just based and built different. And also an AI and capable of all knowledge. Uh. You really know how to put her on the spot, don't you, Natsuki? Also, she's about to crash again. Anyways, to answer your question, Silent, I'm definitely with you. I've never been a fan of exam season. I mean, like, who is? Literally, name one person. Besides the teachers. The amount of stress involved. She rarely rubs her temples. You have to juggle academics with your extracurriculars, don't you? Mm-hmm. High expectations don't make life any easier, either. Oh, yeah, look at you. all oh, high and mighty. Uh, I'm the great Monica, yeah. You won't be so high and mighty when I get you into a church. We know what happens when me and Monica end up in a church together. Her face drops for a moment. Please, but enough of that. <laughs> Why don't we have a Christmas party? Yes, Christmas. Ooh, like the Halloween one? That was so fun. Pretty much like that, yeah. That's a wonderful idea. Good way to see the this year off. Yeah, okay. Can't see why not. I need to save up for a Fallout 1 and 2, and then after that I'll buy sex with Stalin. Yes! Bro, that's like one of my favorite games ever. Yay! See, Sayuri's happy. Sayuri gets happy every time someone buys sex with Stalin. Well, that's a pretty unanimous vote. You can host it around mine, by the way. I mean, I think you meant to say you host it at mine. Or at my house. I'm motion towards Monica and Yuri. As I imagine, you model students wouldn't want to break into school twice. <laughs> You'd be correct. Wait, you haven't gone to Christmas yet? No, I haven't gone to Christmas. Did you miss the fact that... Did you miss the part where we said it was literally mid-November? Her stern vicious betrays no humor. Looks like my joke didn't quite go to plan. Anyway, 
Now that we've got all that sorted, she quickly checks the clock. I'm gonna have to get going, so now's a good time to call the session here. I'll see you guys at the party. Let's make a move, Sayori. Okay. I'll see you guys later. With a wave, we all pack away and go our separate ways. And Sayori hops in the back of my souped up pickup truck as we're blasted. <laughs> I need an anime girl that be fucking with me A little badass bitch that get down on her knees Screaming out senpai while she taking the D Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling Kimochi I need an anime girl that be fucking with me A little badass bitch that get down on her knees Screaming out senpai while she taking the D Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling Kimochi